Hey friends, this is Ramakan Dadishi and you're watching Fitness Geek. Uh, in today's video, we will be continuing where we left in the last video. So we were talking about the Power BI uh, setup that you can have for a small organization, how the reports flow, how you actually develop your reports using your Power BI desktop, then you publish it into the Power BI service, and then you share from there to uh, the users who can actually consume it via the licenses that they have. So we'll be going a bit deeper inside the licensing bit of things and uh, I've prepared some kind of a, you know, a presentation for that. Uh, it's, it's available in Microsoft's uh, official documentation for pricing, but they, there will be a few confusions that you will have. For example, when, I, when we were uh, actually, you know, uh, setting it up in our previous organization, uh, it was a very, you know, it was a struggle to actually understand who can consume the reports. For example, if a person who's having a Power BI premium license created a premium workspace, he published the report. Even though people had pro licenses, they could not access it. So in those kind of scenarios, you need to make sure that you have the correct license available with the, you know, the consumers of your reports. So this is very important way when you set it up uh, for enterprises who have lots of you know funds uh, budget to spend they can definitely have the premium capacity which gives you a lot of power there you just need the developers to have uh, the premium or the pro license and uh, all the consumers can actually have the free license so we will go in depth by the end of the video you will have a clear picture of what exactly you should implement in your organization, uh, be it if you are in a small startup or if you are in an enterprise, what suits you and what you should be implementing. So let's get started. So these are the licensing options that you have with Power BI. They have recently you know, started the Power BI premium per user, which is a fantastic move. So you can you know, leverage the actual premium uh, features without actually having the premium capacity so you can just use the premium per user and use all the premium features so this is a quick uh, pricing of the you know uh, three licensing options that you have the power bi pro the power bi premium per user and the power bi uh, premium per capacity uh, so the difference between the premium pro and the premium so the difference between the power bi Pro and the Power BI Premium per user is just ten dollars, but if you actually see the features and the you know the storage capacity that you get, the model size that you get with Premium per user, uh, it will be very you know uh, tempting to just go with Premium because once you set everything up and then you want to go uh, you know uh, up uh, your tier, uh, it can be a bit of you know tricky situation. So. Uh, let's let's see what is the difference between the three or two uh, licensing options and when you have the premium per capacity and how it differentiates and you know what are the features that's that's coming with your uh, pro versus the premium versus the premium capacity so let's have a look so this is a basic uh, you know collaboration analytics comparison this is also straight from your uh, Microsoft documentation. Uh, these are the options that's available. Uh, mobile app access, uh, publish reports and share collaborate, uh, paginated reports. Uh, this, both of them, you know, uh, both the pro and the premium per user uh, has this. Difference here, the big difference comes in, uh, if you see the data prep modeling and visualize, visualization, uh, the model memory size limit is one GB for your Power BI Pro. But uh, if you see the Power BI Premium per user, it's 100 GB. And obviously the Power BI Premium capacity, which is yeah, you the, you're the most expensive one, like it's... How do you select the licensing for your organization? For example, if you have a small organization, four or five people, you just want to you know start building some reports. Uh, you can start from Power BI Pro. You can have individual you know, Power BI Pro licenses attached. A uh, person can uh, publish the reports uh, in the Power BI Pro uh, workspace that he has created, the developer of the report, and then he can share it with the other users who also have a Power BI Pro license or a Power BI Premium license. 
So this is a, a bit tricky. You can see that the premium user, the premium, premium license holder can access the pro, but a pro license holder cannot access the premium ones. We will see those differences at the end of this uh, video, uh, which is something, you know, most important part of this video. Basically, this this is a comparison. Uh, you get the refresh rate in Power BI Pro, which is eight per day. In Power BI Premium, per user, you get forty eight per day. Uh, the same is with Power BI Premium capacity, but Power BI, Power BI Premium capacity actually is very expensive. So if you are a small company, you don't have that much of a budget. Five thousand pounds or five thousand dollars per month is quite a lot of money for any organization. So. Uh, yeah, that's that can be uh, you know a solution for big enterprises, but for small organizations, you will either go for a Power BI Pro or a Power BI Premium per user license. So these are the basic differences. Uh, this can be actually you know viewed from Microsoft documentation, but the gist of this video will be the last slide where we actually see who can access which report. Another feature that's the data mart creation, uh, which is only available in the premium ones. So you will need a Power BI premium per user or Power BI premium per capacity uh, to create a data mart. And the last difference in terms of the capacity or the, you know, the storage. Uh, so if you see uh, the maximum storage available uh, in case of Power BI Pro is just 10 GB per user. But if you see uh, the Power BI Premium per user, it is 100 TB, which is a lot of storage. So this is one of the, you know, uh, you know, the, the difference now, one, the very huge, massive difference. Or if you want to, uh, you know, import a lot of data and you want to actually store, uh, you know, the reports with some uh, huge amount of data, or you have, you're going to have a lot of reports with a lot of data. Uh, you will definitely would like to choose Power BI Premium per user. Slide you're watching right now is the most important part of this video. So if you are a developer who you know is developing the reports and you want to publish the report, you need to make sure that the people with whom you want to share the report can actually view those reports. So if you are someone who is having a pro license, you have got a pro workspace, you publish the report so anyone who's got a pro license can access it anyone who's got a premium per user license can access it if he has a free license attached to his account then he cannot view it so free license holders cannot view the pro uh, you know power bi, power bi premium uh, power bi pro workspace reports so you will either need a pro or a premium per user to actually access reports or the view, view reports in a pro workspace. Uh, Power BI premium per user. So if you are a developer uh, who has a Power BI premium per user license, so you created a premium uh, workspace and you, you know, started using the premium uh, uh, features and you published your report. So what happens then is the people, uh, the you know, the, your colleagues who have an existing pro license still cannot view your reports until you publish it into a pro, you know, uh, workspace. So they will not be able to view your uh, premium, uh, you know, workspace reports. So when, whenever you create a premium workspace, you will see a diamond sign uh, on it on it. So that that's how you know that it's a premium workspace. And to view that, you will need a premium per user license. Uh, again, if you have a free license, you cannot access that. Premium capacity, uh, premium per capacity or the premium capacity that we uh, normally, the term that we use premium capacity. So if, so if a report has been published in uh, Power BI premium capacity, to publish that, you again need a pro or a premium, uh, you know, a pro license attached to you. But uh, if you see the users with uh, the users with this type of license can view or access the content. So a pro 
license holder can actually view the reports within the premium per capacity a premium per user can also view it even if you have a free license attached to it attached to your account you can view the premium per capacity reports so that's the difference uh, so in an in a you know a big organization where uh, they have just purchased a, a premium per capacity and uh, they have a few developers who have pro licenses with them and they just you know publish the reports in the premium per capacity uh, workspace uh, they create their workspace and they publish it there so all all the people like all you know the uh, all your employees or all the you know pp people in your organization uh, who have a free license free power bi license attached to you, uh, attached to their account can actually view the report and they can even share it so even uh, if you're having a free license attached to you you can actually view or you know you can see the reports uh, or access the reports in premium per capacity so that's that's the advantage of having a premium per capacity but you're spending a lot of money there so it's like 60000 pounds dollars per year so that's a lot of money uh, you don't want to do that and when do you select uh, what kind which you know when when you decide how like is it worth going to the premium per capacity so for example an organization having 100 people so the maximum you will spend if you each one of them have a pro is like 10 per month 100 so a thousand dollars per month that's the maximum you are spending but for premium per capacity you need like 5000 per month so you will definitely not go for premium per capacity the the moment you see that you are spending more than 5000 dollars per month straight away you should go into the premium per capacity uh, same goes with premium per user start uh, with the amount the number of people who, or the you know the number of uh, people who will actually consume the reports and a few developers so if the moment it the moment your budget goes beyond 5000 that's when you go for premium per capacity otherwise it's it's you know no brainer to just get the premium per user licenses and start using the premium features so yeah this this is uh, this is all about uh, how you actually uh, you know differentiate between the licenses and which one to choose which license actually allows you to access the reports in a different workspace so thanks thanks a lot uh, this is the end of the video uh, i hope you uh, got some information about the licensing bit of rbi and yep yeah, hope you like it uh, do do uh, do help me with a like uh, or you know if you found this useful do subscribe share and keep supporting Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.